Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be talking about how to use your Facebook page um, and how to get good engagement on there. I thought it was an interesting one because uh, this is something often I see people complaining their Facebook page gets zero engagement and Facebook pages are dead but actually my Facebook page uh, is probably gets more engagement than Twitter and Instagram at the moment so I thought I would share my top tips. Uh, I was about to write it up as a blog post but it was such a nice day I thought I'd come outside with a cup of tea and talk to you about what I do instead. Uh, if you're new here then make sure you hit subscribe there's lots of other blogging hints and tips in my specific playlist for my blogging. first tip would definitely be to have a real clear call to action in your post and this is something that I found worked really well um, to kind of get people to vote so I'll often ask them you know which recipe would you prefer and to put a b c or d um, and that can be really great for engagement another thing is to kind of get people encourage people to tag so I might say you know tag a friend who needs this and that works really well especially if I do like gluten-free and vegan recipes um, I'll hopefully insert some examples here my second tip is definitely to make the most of video. Now, the best tip I could ever offer for this is to use Lumen5, which is an amaz amazing website. Um, you literally put your link in and it turns it into short video. It's not the most amazing videos ever, but it's short and to the point. It often uses like stock images and text. And I'll put an example here now, if I can, of one um, that I did recently for Celiac Awareness. and. Uh, it did really really well it got lots and lots of engagement um so keep your video short kind of a minute or so long have kind of shocking facts or information use images where possible try to have it kind of short and snappy and have it something that people are going to want to share and tag people in whether that's an amazing recipe or 10 things that you didn't know about and so on Obviously another big part for number four of Facebook pages can be kind of a linked Facebook group and there's a way that you can link the page and group together. So I run two Facebook groups, one about IBD which is my first blog and obviously one about blogging for my second blog and Facebook groups can be really great to kind of get your core audience and share your blog post. So if you haven't already got a Facebook group I would definitely recommend it and you can link it to your Facebook page so it kind of works simultaneously. A group can be a good way to kind of give people something extra, a place for them to discuss in detail and Facebook groups can be really really good for engagement as well it would um, definitely be to um, join Facebook groups in your niche and share to those so um, I'm in different Facebook groups for Crohn's disease and gluten free um, and it, you don't necessarily just share every post that you do you just kind of go in and hang out and discuss things anyway but the off answer I've always said the best content should definitely answer questions and often people will directly ask questions that I know I can answer with the blog post so that's when you can start sharing your content however I also sometimes share directly from my Facebook page to different groups and that can be really helpful in kind of getting your post seen in the algorithm and so on. Mini giveaways can be a really great way. I'll often work with a brand and ask people to follow me, follow the brand and then just tag a friend. So keep it really, really simple. Don't ask people to, you know, write a lover at comments or share or take, you know, it, it, anything that's going to be too time consuming. However, if you just have a really simple strategy like that, that can work really well as well. This has been useful. I thought I'd keep it really short today just because I know everyone's in the sun, but hopefully those tips will help and I'm hoping to include some real life examples fingers crossed it works from what you can see of my Facebook page in action as well which might give you some tips um, otherwise uh, I'll link my blog growth ebook below where I talk about Facebook in more detail as well as Pinterest and other ways to grow your traffic um, I've had some really great feedback on it and otherwise hit subscribe and I'll be back with another video next week see you later bye